Facebook Marketplace or Walmart? Which one is right for you? I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of each and let you make that decision yourself. I'm a serial entrepreneur, started with the ATM business. Now I'm in e-commerce, selling all Walmart. This is a seven figure business right now. It took me four years of hard work, focus and tunnel vision. My name is Mo and this is how I got here. As you guys may know, we offer two different types of automation packages, both on Facebook and Walmart. Both of these packages are two different price points. I'll start off with Facebook. So for Facebook, we offer a $10,000 initial fee package for a 50-50 profit split, or we can do a 15,000 for a 70-30. With Walmart, it is a little higher ticket, and our lowest package for Walmart does start at 25,000 for a 55-45 split, and then we can do a 30,000 for a 60-40 split, and 35,000 for 65-35 split. Going first with Facebook. Facebook is very easy to start. There's no LLC required required very low barrier to entry, meaning there is no onboarding process like what we see with Walmart. With Facebook, we can get your store up and running, have our VAs work on it and make a sale within that same exact day, as long as you're in constant communication with our team to get everything you need so we can move forward with your store. So at the end of the day, Facebook does have potential to get into the space. People are making money on Facebook. Personally, I started my e-commerce journey through eBay. I was making sales almost every day. We teach our VAs to do that same exact thing that I did so we can make the service automated for you. Now let's get into Walmart. All right. Let's get strong. As you guys may know, we started with Walmart Automation with Capital Ecom. It is a higher ticket item. Because of that, we do need higher credit line for this type of business. We ask for any single client that starts with us to have at least a minimum of $10,000 in credit line because we need to be able to float that, pay for the cost of goods throughout your store. Walmart holds your funds for two weeks before they even pay you out. This is the reason why we need more credit line for Walmart and it has higher potential to scale because of this. Walmart is an e-commerce giant. It does have the potential to become the next Amazon. It's more catered towards retail e-commerce as opposed to Facebook. Facebook is just a social media platform. So onboarding process for Walmart does take about four to five weeks, like some of you may know. It is a much more strict platform to get into on Walmart, but because of that, there's less competition. Compared to Facebook, Facebook, anyone can literally start, open up an account, sell on the marketplace. Walmart, you have to open up a legitimate LLC. You have to be a legitimate business that they even verify you to have access to the platform. Because of this, I personally believe that Walmart, in the long term, you can make more money and you can scale it better. Thus, the reason why it is a higher ticket item to get into for us as a business, because there's a lot more time and effort that we need to put into these stores to make sure that they run appropriately. In summary, Walmart versus Facebook. If you have less capital to play with, get into Facebook. If you have more capital, get into Walmart. Also, credit lines. If you have lower credit lines, you can get your feet wet and get into Facebook. Or if you have higher credit lines, you can get into Walmart. When it comes to Walmart, it's more of a full-time business compared to Facebook, which is more of a side hustle. At the end of the day, you're trying to create multiple streams of income. And if you want both, you're able to do that as well. We do give discounted price for people that start both stores with us. Call to action. Thank you guys for watching. 